Welcome to Website Creative Pro. My name is David and in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use two different themes on a single WordPress installation. Hey guys, it's Dave. So let me just answer the quick question really briefly before we jump into the tutorial about like why you would even want to do this. Uh, there's numerous reasons why you'd want to be able to install uh, multiple themes on one WordPress installation. Uh, maybe you have like a product to sell or maybe you want to create like an opt-in page. Maybe you have a YouTube channel and you want to have a specific page to, put, to send traffic from YouTube to like capture your, their email. Uh, you can do that by like having your main theme on your website or blog and then you can install like a different theme on a different um, page on the website without having to like go in to your cPanel and then install WordPress on a different domain or a subdomain I mean. And so like being able to install multiple domains on just one WordPress installation is super simple because like then you can change things on the fly and it's just quicker and easier than just having to jump in like cPanel and then having like website.com slash blog, website.com slash uh, sales page and having like a specific WordPress installation on each one of those. That's one way you can do it if you want. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use uh, various plugins to be able to use multiple themes on one WordPress installation. Anyways, I'm starting to ramble. So if you're ready, I'm going to move over to the tutorial and begin. Welcome to my laptop. Let's begin. Just a quick side note that if you are looking for a text version of this, you can just visit my website at website Create Pro. Uh, use two different themes on your website. Uh, so let's begin. So we're going to be using the multiple themes plugin by David Gertwitz. Uh, it's a great plugin. So let's just simply navigate over to plugins, add new, type in multiple themes. And it's this one that has 20,000 active installations. Um, activate the plugin and you're good to go. So next, okay, where does the plugin appear on the site? It'll be under appearance, scroll down to multiple themes plugin and you're good to go. So it's a bit of a confusing interface and that has a lot of different options, but you know, I'm just gonna explain it to you. So you can just ignore all this and you want to scroll down here. This is the first section of this of this plugin where it says site home. This allows you to control um, what theme is going to be displayed as your home page. So this is very helpful. For example, like if you find some beautiful parallax theme that has a great like home page design, but maybe a mediocre blog design, but you just want to use it as your home page and have a, another theme be activated for the rest of the site. That's fine. So the way it works is that you know, you want to go into your themes and you want to activate the, the theme that you have currently have activated is the one that will be controlling all of your pages. And this is the one that you'll be designing with. Now I have 2017 theme activated, so I could also activate 2015 or 2016 or 2017. Any theme that I want, I can activate for the home page and it'll override this setting. So for example, say if I wanted to use this theme for the home page and then this theme for the, the rest of the site, what I would have to do is that, okay, I would have to activate this theme, design every single page on it, design the blog posts and whatnot, and leave it active. And then I could just go into the multiple themes plugin and then tell it to use this theme instead. So if you're, you must be wondering, well, well wait, I'm going to have to design two different themes. Yes, you are. To, in order to do that, you have to activate the theme that you want to design and then that's it. And then when you're finished, uh, then you set it to whatever theme you want to use for your homepage. So I hope I'm not confusing you. So what I, what I mean is like, okay, so I want to use this for my website, this theme for my website, but I only want to use this for only the homepage. So what you should do is uh, activate this theme first, design the homepage, finish it, and then go back in, activate 2016, which will then control the whole site. Then go back in and go to your multiple themes plugin and select 2017 theme. And because you just had it activated and you just designed it, WordPress saves all the information. And so it'll be designed exactly as you left it, but your theme, your website will be using this theme. So that's one way. The whole use of this plugin, in my opinion, is to either design a really kick-ass homepage and then have another theme for your blog post or whatever, or to have some sort of um, like sales page or some sort of like opt-in form. Like if you want to create like a squeeze page that only has like a single like option for people to like submit their email, that's what this plugin is for. So basically, 
you can check it out. So I'm using Hello World. I'm using the 2017 theme. We can just click right here. And if I click on 2016 theme, click Save Changes. And we'll go view the site again. And okay, see, now it's using a different theme. Okay, so it just overrides that. So that's what the home, that's what the site home is. And then right down here for an individual page post or another non-admin page, blah, 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 blah. And it's just too confusing. Look, okay, right here. All you do is type in the theme that you want to use. I want to use 2016 theme and I want to use it for a specific block. So for example, let's go to posts. This is just a fresh installation of WordPress. I have hello world installed. So if we view this, it's using the 2017 theme. Why? Because this is the theme I currently have activated. So if I click this URL and I'm like, okay, just for some odd reason, if you want this specific URL to be different, you can just type it in here. Boom, 2016. And I want this page to be using the 2015 theme. So we'll click save changes. And we'll reload this and voila okay so this this only this blog post is using a completely different theme i have no idea why you'd want to do that that doesn't seem very useful to me but if that's what you're looking to do that's how it works okay so you can change the site home here and then you can change the theme here and then all this other stuff these are like your specific like like for a query keyword on a page and for like these are like your search terms I would say you can just safely ignore this. The real value of this plugin is right here for the home page and any basically, basically any page that you want right down here that you can set. The way that I personally would use this plugin is that I would use it for sales pages or opt-in forms, for example, like people coming from YouTube, for example. I'd wanna send them to websitecreatepro.com slash like sign up or something like that and then set a custom theme for the sign up page like use Astra theme and use Elementor and build like a little crew, like a nice little opt-in page, uh, whatever. So anyways, that is it for this video. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.